Hello, I'm Lee Natero, and I will be showing you how to create a histogram on the TI-8384 calculator. We will be using the data for the percent of states residents that are foreign born as found in the practice of statistics. I will be showing you how to use the zoom stat feature and we'll be learning how to adjust the window manually. The first thing you want to do is hit stat, edit, and enter the data in list one. Here we can see I've made a mistake. I tell my students it's important to make sure you've entered your data correctly, especially when there's a lot of data to enter. Here we can see that the value of 77 should really be 7. There are only 7% of Alaskan residents that are foreign born, not 77%. The next thing I tell my students to do is to hit y equals and make sure there are no uh, equations entered in y1 through y0. Then we go to stat plot, so we hit second y equals and turn the histogram on. I choose the option for histogram by scrolling over to histogram and hitting enter on the histogram picture. And the values are in list one. Uh, if they were in list two, I'd hit, hit second list two to change it to list two. But they're not, they're in list one. And frequency one here means that all the values occurred just once. Um, if we had a la large data set with a lot of values that repeated, we might list each of the values in list one and then list the number of times they repeated in list two. Now I'm going to do zoom, choose zoom, and I'm going to choose option nine, which is zoom stat. You can get to zoom stat by just typing a nine or scrolling down. And here's our histogram. Let's trace it. Um, here we can see that we have 20 values between 1.2 and about 4.9. And another 11 values or 11 states that have between 4.9 and 8.6 foreign born residents. But these values are, are very strange. These are probably not values that students would choose for uh, the width of their bar or to mark on their axes. So let's change our window. So let's hit window and we're going to have our window go from negative 5 to 35. And we will count by fives. And then we'll have our y values go from negative 5 to 25. And you might say, well, why negative 5 if the lowest frequency is 0? This will actually set the histogram up a little bit off the bottom of the screen. So now when I hit trace, it's not right on top of my histogram. So we can talk about the shape of the histogram and possibly try to guess which states are out here in the right tail.